So let's see if we can work these three examples out. We're looking for the angle theta, and we've got this length 40 and this length 60. So we can see here from the angle theta, the side here is going to be the opposite. So the opposite side here, we could call that y. So therefore we could call this the adjacent, so this would be x, and this length here would be our value of r. So we know from our trigonometric identities that the y upon r, so we'll just write it down here, y upon r is going to equal the sine of the angle theta. So the sine is just the opposite, that's opposite the angle, divided by the hypotenuse. So we can say then that our value of 40 divided by 60 is equal to the sine of theta. But we are not looking for the sine of theta, we are looking for we are actually looking for the, the angle theta. So we can therefore say that the inverse sine of the angle, the 40 divided by the 60, forty divided by the 60 will give us the angle theta. So that's going to equal, well, you put that in your calculator, so give it a go and remember, remember to be careful with the brackets as well. So I'll have to put in sine of, and it would have inverse sine, so it's shift sine, and I'll have to open up the brackets, and it's 40 divided by 60, and then close the brackets, and I get, well, I get a, an angle of 41.81 degrees, so let's just call that 40 1.8 degrees. So I suggest you actually try it in your calculator, make sure you get this result. And also remember that I'm only human and I'm working on this live at the moment, so I may well have made a mistake. So it's good to check and make sure that um, I've got it right and you've got it right and we're actually doing it properly. So let's move on to the next one. We're looking for this angle theta here. But what have we got? Well, this length here is opposite the angle, so this is the opposite. So we could call that, if you like, our y. And this angle here, length here, it must be the adjacent, so that's the x, and the longest length is the hypotenuse r. So let's see if we can find a trig identity that will allow us to find this angle theta. Now we know we've got the opposite here, so that's the opposite, which is y, and we have the adjacent which is x. So the opposite over adjacent, that's y upon x, is going to be the tan. So we can say that the y, I'll put it over a bit, so y upon x would equal the tan of theta. So the y upon x is 60 upon 30, so 60 upon 30 is just 2, okay? So we're going to have 2 will equal the tan of theta. Now in order to find the actual value of theta, we've got to use the inverse. So if we write down the inverse tan of 2, it's going to equal, so put that into your calculator, so I have to put in shift tan and I have to open up the brackets. I'll put in 2 and close the bracket and put equals and I get 63.4 degrees. So that is 63.4 degrees. So again make sure you put it in your calculator and check that and make sure the working is actually correct. So finally we've got this one here and we've got this angle theta. So again we can work out what the opposite is. So the opposite is the angle opposite the, the, this uh, angle here. So this is going to be the opposite here. So we could call that y. So that means that this is the adjacent, so we can call that x, and we can call this length r. So now we'll look and see which trig identity we can use in order to find this angle here. So we're going to have the x, which is the adjacent over 
r, which is the hypotenuse. So we know that the x upon r is going to be equal to the cos of this angle, theta. So x upon r is going to be 35 over 70, and that's going to equal the cos of the angle, theta. So in order to get the angle theta, we have to write down the inverse cos of the 35 upon 70. Now I'll put that in my calculator, and of course 35 upon 70 is just a half. So if I put in shift and cos, it gives me my inverse cos, and I'll just write it in fully. I'll open up the brackets and I'll write in 35 divided by 70, close the brackets, equals 60 degrees. So that angle in there is 60 degrees. So again, try it yourself. Make sure you're actually getting these answers. Don't just watch this and and expect that um, you'll understand it. It's better to type it all in yourself in your calculator. You'll learn more doing that. So thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.